Tesla just introduced China's first Giga Laboratory, or known as Giga Lab, which seems to be a demonstration of its production capabilities. The visitors are exposed to how the brand's electric vehicles are manufactured in 45 seconds. The Giga Lab in Chengdu has a modern interior and serves as a store for customers to buy Tesla electric automobiles, following in the footsteps of its sibling factories throughout the world, including the well-known Giga Factory in Texas and in China. How will this impact Tesla's sales? Welcome to Evolutionary. Stay tuned until the end as we are going to provide all the information you need to know on Tesla Giga Lab. New retail experience, back in 2019, Tesla announced a shift to online sales and a return to physical stores. Since then, as part of its marketing strategy, the manufacturer has continued to rely extensively on retail spaces. In fact, Tesla's number of physical locations has more than doubled to now a thousand locations around the world over the last three years. Tesla's retail locations are especially important in extremely competitive markets for EVs like in China. Now the automaker is trying a new retail concept in China called Tesla Giga Laboratory. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has been asserting for years that the company is first and foremost a manufacturer. This new retail experience, which seems to be intended to highlight Tesla's production technologies, appears to be an attempt by the company to include that. Furthermore, Tesla was able to work out an agreement with the Omana Indian nation to construct a store in upstate New York in areas like New York, where automakers are permitted to sell directly to consumers. In this method, the automaker is free to offer its goods directly to consumers rather than through a dealership. What is Giga Lab? What is exactly Giga Lab? The Giga Laboratory made its debut in China in what appears to be an effort to attract more potential customers in the fiercely competitive Chinese market. Now open to the public, the Giga Lab is set to follow in the manufacturing and exhibition-like footsteps of its siblings across the world, such as the Giga Factory in Berlin. The steel and gray interior of the Giga Lab in Chengdu mimics the style of the Shanghai Giga Factory with its minimal and hushed down visual language to spotlight the expansive space. In a Twitter post, Tesla Asia confirms that the Giga Lab in Chengdu doubles as a store for visitors to purchase their own Tesla EVs. In a series of images Tesla Asia published, Tesla's famed robot arm in its factories, including Berlin, is working on the frame of the Tesla Model 3 on its own and thanks to the waterfall of strings holding the car design's frame in one piece. Designed to resemble an exhibition, Tesla's Giga Lab in Chengdu hosts transparent glass cases where car parts are shown to further inform the visitors on the equipment being installed or can be installed in the brand's EVs. As Tesla Asia claims, inside the laboratory, the visitors can feel the hardcore beauty of Tesla. The car brand announced the opening of the new Giga Laboratory on its official Weibo account. As written on the Weibo account, the first Tesla Giga Lab in China is a meeting space where Tesla enthusiasts can get together, have a quick conversation, and socialize. People can easily find seats and sofas, which are evenly spaced to make the most of the room and avoid crowding. Through the frames that enclose car parts and descriptions on the walls, they can also appreciate and educate themselves about the tools and equipment of the vehicles. For visitors to obtain a sense of what they might be driving after their visit and to be presented with the technology of the electric vehicles using a real model, Tesla car models are parked within the Giga Lab. According to a post by Tesla Shanghai, guests are given a 45-second tour of how the company's electric vehicles are constructed. This is likely because of the lab's robot arm. The laboratory is a place where cutting-edge technology meets art and potentially even design for the automobile brand because of its clean, well-lit atmosphere. Inside the Giga Lab in Chengdu, visitors can see the normally secretive process of car manufacturing and get a behind-the-scenes look at how Tesla builds its vehicles and its plants. What do we know so far? During a two-day trip to China last May, Tesla CEO Elon Musk visited with top Chinese officials and spoke with staff members at the company's Shanghai manufacturing facility. Despite geopolitical tensions with the U.S. and years of strict cough, Restrictions that have made the working environment in the country difficult. The communist state is striving to present itself as a hospitable destination for international business. Chen Jinning, the leader of Shanghai's Communist Party, visited with the businessman to entice him to increase his investments and operations there. Musk praised the operation of Tesla's 2019 open Shanghai facility and emphasized his intention to work with the city on other projects in the future. Why was the visit significant for Musk? Outside of the US, the Shanghai Giga Factory is where Tesla produces the majority of its cars. According to information from the firm's financial records, the Shanghai facility handled more than half of the 1.31 million automotive deliveries the company made globally in 2022. Tesla has announced that it wants to develop a battery farm in Shanghai, 
but it hasn't said how much more it plans to produce at its manufacturing there. Manufacturing of Megapack energy storage units will also occur here. An enormous battery storage system called the Megapack was developed to help with grid stability, renewable energy projects, and other energy storage needs. Next, Gigafactory. Apart from building a Giga Lab, there is a possibility that Paris will be the next location to build a Giga Factory. Elon Musk and French President Emmanuel Macron met this June for the second time in a month as rumors grew that the Tesla company will build another factory somewhere in Europe. Macron is encouraging Tesla to build it in his country and he posted a simple message to Twitter alongside a picture of himself and Musk. Let's work together, the tweet said. Macron is balancing a desire to bring a Tesla gigafactory to France while French regulators are considering banning Twitter until it complies with upcoming European Union Digital Services Act regulations. Musk owns both Tesla and Twitter. Tesla currently operates one gigafactory in Europe. Despite France's efforts to lure that first plan, Tesla built it in Germany, the gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg. Musk also met with Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney this week, and Spain is also mentioned in news reports as a potential new Tesla Gigafactory location. We'll hear the news of the next Gigafactory someday. Gigafactory in Berlin Still talking about the Gigafactory, Tesla will cut Saturday shifts and hire fewer temporary workers than it did during its ramp-up phase at its Giga Berlin manufacturing facility in Germany. But even with fewer assembly line workers, production is still on track to reach self-imposed targets. The American EV brand offered the update after Business Insider reported yesterday that Tesla's goal of assembling 6,000 cars a week at the Berlin-Brandenburg site was on hold. Tesla reached the production milestone of 5,000 Model Ys manufactured per week at its German factory back in March and then filled up all the positions needed for a third shift, which is necessary if the company wants to increase production. Tesla only makes the Model Y electric crossover in Germany which was the best-selling EV in Europe in January, with a little over 7,000 units delivered across the old continent. This means the American EV outsold every other battery-powered car on the market. All in all, Tesla really shows his ability to become the strongest automaker leader, especially with the new retail experience, Giga Lab. What do you think of Tesla's new retail experience? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to get a like and subscribe to our channel for more weekly updates on EVs.